the CBR1000RR and 1000RR. Both are sporty, inline 4-liter bikes from Honda, but they have a massive 10 grand gap in their price tags. So, besides that extra R hanging out at the back, what makes the Triple R special and why is it more expensive? And if you're in the market, which one should you go for? The Triple R is capable of producing a staggering 217 horsepower on crank, a massive 26 horsepower increase from the older Double R. Torque-wise, they churn out nearly similar figures, with the Double R edging ahead by just a single newton meter. When it comes to weight, the Double R is 6 kilos lighter, and if we're looking at the power-to-weight ratio, the horsepower difference is just too much to bridge, with the Triple R boasting a 10% higher power-to-weight ratio. So, what makes the Triple R capable of producing that much horsepower? The Triple R is powered by an all-new engine, not a revised or updated version of the Double R, and also built with focus on increasing the rev limit, combustion efficiency, and applying low-friction componentry. The engine is completely different, despite similarities, like the inline-4 setup and the displacement size. The Triple R has an 81mm bore and 48.4mm stroke, a more extreme oversquare design than the Double R, which gives it the ability to rev higher, and as we all know, a higher rev limit means higher horsepower. Besides that, the higher and faster revving engine that the Triple R gets also comes from using titanium connecting rods, forged aluminum pistons, and finger follower rocker arms, instead of buckets between the cams and valves. The cams are also given a diamond-like carbon coating to cut friction and weight, a trick first seen on GP and race bikes. Next, the intake and exhaust systems of the Triple R are upgraded and far more complex. The Triple R is equipped with larger throttle bodies, 52 mm, compared to the 48 mm units on the Double R. It has a ram air intake, with the same opening size as on the RC213V, and various innovative methods of moving the air smoothly to the motor, without upsetting the handling. Honda even went so far as to remove the key ignition system to make more room for the air intake, replacing it with keyless ignition. They still have the same 13 to 1 compression ratio, with both engines being liquid-cooled, but the Triple R cooling system is superior to the Double R, with a built-in bottom bypass passage for the cylinder water jacket, where it can cool the top and bottom of the block separately. For the valve train, they have a double overhead cam setup, with four valves per cylinder, with the Triple R valve train is driven by a semi-cam gear train system, driven by an idler gear above the crankshaft, which makes it shorter in length and able to deliver higher RPM and cam lift. Power is passed through a six-speed wet multi-plate clutch transmission that comes with assist and slipper clutch, and the fuel capacity of both bikes is similar, around 16 liters, and for consumption, the Triple R is slightly more efficient, just around 1.5% more. As for the price, the 2023 Double R comes in at $16,899 in the US and has been discontinued in Europe. On the other hand, the standard or non-SP Triple R is not available for sale in the US, and it is priced at 19,599 Great Britain pounds sterling, which is equivalent to around 25,000 US dollars. Next, moving on to features and electronic rider aids, both the Double R and Triple R have lean-sensitive cornering ABS and IMU, with the Triple R getting a 6-axis IMU, while the Double R features an older 5-axis version. This refers to the number of sensors, where a 6-axis IMU incorporates 3 accelerometers and 3 gyros, while the 5-axis version includes 3 accelerometers and 2 gyros. Both motorcycles also come equipped with a ride-by-wire throttle and offer various power modes. The presence of an IMU also opens up a plethora of other features for both bikes, including traction control, wheelie control, and engine brake control, but launch control isn't available on the Double R. Both have electronic steering dampers that are electronically controlled and can automatically adjust the damping as required. Quick shifter with auto blipper is an optional feature for both bikes, and on the dash, a sophisticated TFT display graces the dashboard of both machines. Additionally, the Triple R adds a touch of convenience with its keyless system. Taking a look at the chassis, they have the same style of twin spar or perimeter frame made from aluminum, but they don't share the exact same design. 
the Triple R introduces a new upgraded and improved frame with altered wall thickness in different sections, aiming to increase the vertical stiffness, greater torsional strength, and less horizontal rigidity to improve handling and traction. The rear of the engine block also now acts as the upper shock mount. Besides that, the Triple R also gets completely revised geometry, but we will talk about that later. Front suspension duties on both bikes are handled by 43mm show of big piston forks that are fully adjustable, and at the rear, both utilize show of BFRC shocks, which are also fully adjustable. Then, for braking power, they got four piston radial mount calipers paired with a radial master cylinder. There is a slight difference in disc diameter, where the Triple R gets 10mm bigger discs. As for the tires, they got the same 120mm wide front tire, while for the rear, Honda opted for a wider and taller tire for the Triple R. Besides the fatter tire, the Triple R also has a bigger rake angle and a longer swing arm, which contribute to the Triple R's 50mm longer wheelbase. Seat height for both bikes is almost similar, with a slight difference of 4mm, and for overall width, the Double R is slightly more narrow by 42mm. For riding position and ergonomics, the Double R, which is designed and marketed as an everyday superbike, has a more relaxed riding position. It may not beat the practicality, efficiency, or comfort of a true sports tour, but if you really want to use a superbike for commuting, the Double R is one of the better choices. On the other hand, Honda takes a very different approach with the Triple R. The bike's project leader himself, Yuzuru Ishikawa even admitted that winning races was his number one priority when building the Triple R. This results in a much more aggressive and racy riding position, where the handlebars have been moved forward, the foot pegs are also further back by 43mm and higher by 21mm. The new subframe bolts to the top of the frame, narrowing the fuel tank area where the rider wraps their legs, and the new tank shape also lets riders tuck in better. However, it's worth noting that for riders above 6 feet or 180 centimeters tall, the Triple R can be too cramped, 